Welcome back to the Acoustic Shop channel. In this video today, we are gonna be looking at the Gold Tone OB3, the Twanger. And in this video, we're gonna give you all the specs. We're going to tell you if it's something that you need and how it relates in uh, relation to other banjos similar to it, tell you what we think of it, and then let you hear it to see if you think it's gonna fit for you. We'll do that all after this. Glad to have you all back here. Uh, if you have not yet done it, please, please like and, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell. The more of you that do that, the Ding. better we're going to be able to make these videos. Man, I watched a video of what we did a year ago. Jason, you and your team just were not doing a great job. Now, because of all those likes and subscribing, they're doing a great job. Have they are doing a great that? job. No, I'm just kidding. It's been great <laughs> the whole time, and it only keeps getting better, and it's uh, due to your guys' support and uh, all the comments and all that. We love uh, doing it. So, uh, you know, we're going to talk a little bit today about the Gold Tone OB3, the Orange Blossom 3, also known as the Twanger. And uh, this is kind of an interesting uh, story. I don't know if you know much about this, but... Uh, a couple of our good friends, Robbie Boone mm -hmm. and uh, Banjo Ben, he was working at the Banjo Ben uh, store at the time, were working with Gold Tone to build a banjo closer to the uh, banger, which you know what the banger yep, is, right? I know the banger. Tell the folks yep. what the banger is. So the banger was J.D. Crow's uh, banjo that he played with uh, Jimmy Martin for several years. Um, well, all the big hits and classics that you heard was on the banger. There you go. That's right. So this was designed to be closer to that mm -hmm. and again, a more affordable import variation of it. And originally those were exclusive to their shop. Eventually, I think it was not very long. They just did a limited run of, cer of certain serial numbers and then moved on. Now it's an official model and we're glad of that because it is a really good banjo and brings a more high-end style mm -hmm. uh, master tone. They actually have the master. Did you know that, by the way? Gold Tone has purchased the master tone brand. I've seen the master tone. You can do that I now. Sure yeah, did. Gibson yeah. used to be, it was a Gibson master tone, yeah. uh, a uh, patented thing uh they let that expire and those guys at gold tone they jumped in there and they <laughs> got it and now a lot of those gold tone banjos are now listed as master tone oh, yeah. banjos i've had that question a lot actually go how do they get away with that well i legal. started to ask it earlier but i didn't so i'm glad i waited <laughs> and now i have the answer it's legal and they they can do it this is officially a master tone banjo and and it's really cool like you said this is going to be more in that jd crow uh mm -hmm. rb75 yep. uh style yep. uh, which is very close to the rb3 mm -hmm. in fact you i i'm i'm, I'm gonna assume you already know this why is it called the rb75 to my knowledge the reason that it's called an rb75 is because they dropped the price from a hundred dollars to seventy-five. He nailed it. He nailed it. This guy knows banjos. An RB seventy-five. That's right. Resonator That's banjo. That's my knowledge of it. Is that 75. correct? Seventy-five. That is correct, as far as I know. Uh, it was. It was yeah. a seventy-five dollar banjo when it came out, yep. and uh, yeah. So there you go. It's a resonator banjo at seventy-five dollars. Um, this one is a little bit more than seventy-five dollars. Just a little bit. Just Inflation. <laughs> How to be in there. So anyway, let's get into the specs of this banjo. Uh, a lot of really cool stuff on here. This has a more traditional Gibson style headstock with a traditional C-shaped neck. Uh, it does have the one and a quarter inch uh, nut width with a bone nut, not plastic, uh, which obviously we like that quite a bit in yep. here. Uh, the Goto Planetary Tuners. Uh, with an ebony fretboard, not rosewood, so that is a little bit of a departure from the RB75. Mm -hmm. Those would have been a rosewood, rosewood fretboard. Yeah. Uh, again, 22 frets, so no extension here. It is pearloid leaves and bows inlays, so that's, uh, you know, uh, that was the very similar to the RB75 one. In fact, I think the RB75 was the only one that had the first fret. You guys, are, you banjo nerds are going to correct me on that. I know I'm going to be wrong, and uh, you can fix that for me, but am I wrong? Well, I don't know. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not actually a nerd. <laughs> you are too. Don't you pretend you are not. All banjo players are nerds. I'm going to get so much hate mail. This is going to be great. 
Um, Bite your toe. <laughs> it's a mahogany neck banjo with a mahogany uh, resonator. Uh, does does this have the rings on the back uh, yes. at all? Yeah, so two concentric, concentric, concentric rings. rings. That's yep. what they always say on that. A two-way adjustable truss rod uh, with the uh, standard Gibson metal uh, armrest on here mm -hmm. as well. 24 bracket banjo. Does come with a Snuffy Smith bridge, yep. uh, which is cool. They were still creating those and uh, able to put those on there. Again, it's an 11 inch pot with uh, the dual coordinating rods. Um, one piece uh, flange, as to, traditional with that nickel plated uh, with a Remo uh, Weather King style uh, head on it as well. All right, this one also has the presto style town or tailpiece which again very gibson-esque as well as a no hole brass uh uh tone ring and it does have a three ply maple rim so who do you think this instrument is for in my opinion this again you know gibson doesn't make banjos right now nope. and they're not making the three or the rb75 and this kind of gives you an affordable option uh, as an import banjo and seems to be of all high quality parts. Would you kind of agree? I with agree that? with that. Yeah. You're, you're a intermediate player that's looking to upgrade. This is, this would be a very good purchase. Yep. Option yep. right in there. Absolutely. Yep. Um, tone wise, uh, to me, it's kind of barking up that same Gibson uh, deal. This is a hard one for me, and I'm not a banjo guy, but I lived with one for a very long time. <laughs> and I know how you guys are. You guys swap out parts and change setups and do all kinds of stuff all the time. And everybody has a different variation of that. Yep. Just a slight adjustment to the head tension makes quite a bit of a difference Huge. in here. Yep. And again, I want to uh, iterate these banjos were just sent to us. They actually just arrived yesterday, knowing that we were going to film. So these are direct setups uh, directly from Gold mm -hmm. Tone in their style. You can definitely change this so directly with just a slight modification of the head tension um, and all that kind of stuff. But it seems like a pretty good platform for a Gibson yeah. mahogany banjo. Out of, fresh, fresh, freshly out of the box. It's, it's got a pretty good bite to it. Mark. Got some good sustain There's to it. There's some roundness to the yeah. top end of that. That's a, a pretty good surprise. So it's not, it, is it, you know, for me it was on a little bit of the bright side, but I. It is a little bright. Uh, but I was surprised yep. on that top end is a little, has a little bit of roundness mm -hmm. to it. So that yeah. is a really, really good one. Um, the uh, Those are obviously some of the greater things of this. If I was to mark a uh, con of this particular one, I think the neck shape's a little bit big. Um, compared to, you know, especially if you are used to that Gibson it's, uh, yes, style it's neck. Yes, it's thicker. thicker and a um, little bit bulkier. Yeah. But um, the width or the, I mean, the, the, the neck, neck width, width itself, is, yeah. itself feels pretty oh, yeah. pretty good. Now I'm talking about the depth and shape the of depth that and neck, shape, especially yes. that first four frets. Check out what you yep. think of there. To me, it felt a little bit on the big side. Um, but that's pretty common of mm. banjos in this price point. Yeah. I... I you know, banjos are a tough deal because they're such a thin neck, it's so easy for them to break. And I find that uh, a lot of the import companies tend to lean on a little bit more bulk in order to get more strength to them. Sure. Um, you know, because I'm yep. going to assume your neck on your uh, actual pre-war banjo, those were pretty small necks. Yeah, it's very small. <laughs> very, very small. And very, it feels so good in your hand. I mean, you, when you cup around there, you've got plenty of room for your fingers to, you know, do what they need to do. So, so yeah, a, I you know the, that would probably be my biggest drawback. Other than that, overall, they put a lot of really great parts into this mm -hmm. banjo. Yep. Uh, you know, so it's definitely there. Uh, comparison wise, I would say uh, your biggest comparisons here would be like a Recording King Elite seventy five. Mm -hmm. um, not quite the same inlay patterns, but in that same realm. Also, uh, the uh, Gold Star uh, JD Crow banjo that yeah. also falls in there. I would say they're uh, in that same world. Yep. Uh, the JD Crow banjo has a satin finish, where this has got the full gloss. Yep. The RB seventy five. Uh, I mean, sorry, the Elite seventy six from uh, Recording King. These are all kind of comparable banjos. Uh, you know, for me, I like the add-on of having the Snuffy Smith Bridge yep. and, you know, that kind of look of the, uh, you know, copy closer to the J.D. Crow mm -hmm. uh, banger banjo. 
And Master Tone. And it says Master Tone on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now let's get into kind of our rating system. Uh, again, uh, Aaron, uh, so you know we're going to give this a one to five stars, how we feel it kind of falls in here. Again, there's no wrong answers except for uh, anything that disagrees with my answer. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, one to five, I'm going to talk about the tone. I think this is a solid Four here for me. Uh, I think it really hit the marks. Like I said, it's a little bit on the bright side for me, but again, I think setup wise and all that, uh, it could get a lot closer to that. I'm going to go three and a half because in its current setup, it's I would I would change just a few things in my personal like you know. So okay. straight out of the box, I would say three and a half. But the potential he's there, he's convinced me it's a yeah. three and a half. Yeah. He's right. <laughs> he's right. So there you go. It's a three and a half in tone. Uh, setup and playability. This is definitely where, uh, again, uh, I think it's uh, It's not my setups. I'm going to go with a three and a half again. I think it's pretty standard. Um, it's well set up. There's no yeah. messiness to this at all. But again, when people talk setup, they like to talk about those head tensions and yeah. layouts and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So what do you think? I would say three and a half to four. I mean, it it, it wouldn't take much no. at all to get this set up to any anybody's preference. I mean, it's 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 pretty well done. Um, but again, all of that stuff is personal preference as well. So, sure. in my personal preference, I'm gonna say three and a half. You say three and a half or four? Do I'll it. go. Just I'll give it four. four. I'll You're give it four. It. Yeah. I, yeah. I already beat him up on the three and a half, so you can do it right there. Uh, build quality. Uh, again, I find the neck to be a little bit big, but uh, overall, it's put together pretty well. I think uh, it, it it just seems to be a a pretty good banjo all the way around. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a four on this one. I will agree with that. I'm going to say four. All right, aesthetics and yeah. looks. Again. Uh, you know, it is an, a little bit overly glossy finish on there, but I'm still going to give it a four. I think yep. it looks, if you're looking for a traditional banjo in that RB75 style, it's, it, there's not much more you can ask for. It's yeah. not like you're going to look at it and go, man, they really missed it on that one. Uh, it, it pretty much no, hits it's, all yeah. those marks. Yep. So, is that the, where you're going to go to? I'll, I'll agree. All right. Yep. He's pretty easy here today. Uh, um, again. Yeah, I'm not going to, yeah. <laughs> Overall value, uh, I think it's a great banjo. This one comes in at seventeen ninety nine, um, with a hard shell case. There's a pretty good value that there is, yeah. uh, for a full uh, master tone style banjo that is set up in this. So I'm going to give it a four uh, on this one for overall value. Yep, I would too. Well, there you go. Four and a half, actually. Oh, a four and a half. Four and a half. All yeah. right. I'm, I'm going to. I up like it, it a little bit. Yeah. I like that, Aaron. That's why we have you here. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna get Aaron to give you guys a, a little bit of a tone sample so you can see what it's all about, <clears throat> and then we'll be back with our closing thoughts. And uh, yeah, we'll do that right now. pleasure to have uh, to talk about banjos because again what do I know I just know that banjos have five strings a head and uh, 
I just he, play them. Yeah. That's <laughs> anyway, all. Anyway, it's good to have you in here. If you like this video uh, and you want to see more of it, Aaron was actually with us uh, a while back, and we did a review of another banjo we mentioned in here, which is the Recording mm -hmm. King Elite 76. Aaron kind of gave his thoughts on yeah. that, and we kind of went through that as well. We have a link to it right here. You can clip that and go to it. Uh, it will then kind of tell you even more about more banjos, and you can go down the, the banjo rabbit hole <laughs> with Aaron. Uh, again, thank you all so much for joining us. I'm having a blast uh, in here with, with Aaron and talking about banjos. It actually has been a lot of fun. Yes, Thanks it is. a whole bunch, and yep. we will do it thank again you. sometime. See you all next time. Adios.